Oh, right, right here? Right there. We're in the stereoscopic 3D. Uh, so, hi, Rifters, what's up? So, I'm Attic Bruce, and I'm here at uh, this wonderful booth, uh, interesting program called Leopoli, uh, which is basically uh, approaching 3D modeling from a very uh, interesting um, frame of reference, which I, I really uh, find interesting. So, let's talk about it a little. So, what is this program about? What are you doing here? Basically, actually, we had a kind of semi professional 3D sculpting tool for years, mm -hmm. but we realized that in the next like five, ten years, millions and millions of users. As we enter, you know, the world of 3D modeling, they will create objects at home for their printers for uh, for sharing. Mm -hmm. So we thought that we have to create a really a real easy to use modeling tool where people can have success and satisfaction in modeling within like five ten minutes. Um, and Leopold is just that you can learn it in five minutes and right there you can create like in a with a play-doh you can actually create whatever form free form you want to a small a small toy uh, something for the Christmas tree something to the table and you can share it online um, or you can print it also you can use other people's design and kind of co-develop it and modify it. The third thing with why Leopold is really interesting that you can color the thing really easily. So you just get a like a hat um, in brown and you can actually color it like in real life but you do it on the computer with the uh, help of a mouse and nothing else. Nice, very cool. Uh, so we have running behind us is Leopoldian. This is just a 2D interface with uh, just the mouse, keyboard, regular setup. Exactly. Um, we're able to very quickly sculpt away and, and make a, a 3D exactly. object. That's pretty neat. Exactly. But you can also use, you know, the glass, mm -hmm. and you can see it in 3D. You can you can use it in 3D, but you don't necessarily have to do that. Absolutely. So about the uh, 3D, uh, is that a proprietary thing coming from your company for the? 3D manipulation tools and the uh, the eye tracking and so forth, or is that compatible with other things like an Oculus Rift or Track IR or other? You can, you can use it with leap motion. Uh -huh. um, so it's like you know you don't have necessarily have to use the bird as we call it, our proprietary hardware. Mm -hmm. But it's the whole thing is based on the software called Leo Bird, which is a sculpting software mm -hmm. where you can do animation, a lot of things in 3D, um, and if you actually use leap motion to it, then you do it with your bare hands, uh, like in a playground. Right, that's very exciting, it's very cool. Yeah. Um, and it's a freemium model, so anyone can try it at home. Uh, right. It's on the web, uh, it's a waste library, whatever you do, you upload into the library. So it's a fast-growing community of, of, of aspiring designers. Right, very cool. Yeah. Now, um, virtual reality has been kind of on the rise with the Oculus Rift and other things coming up. So, yeah. has that been on your radar? Have you been thinking about porting this software into uh, virtual reality space uh, and, like, you know, manipulating things in 3D virtual space that way? Yeah. Well, that's rather the Leonardo software. Here, you only create the shapes and forms the object. Mm -hmm. Leonardo is also, and the Leovert software, as I mentioned, that is something where you can actually create a presentation in virtual reality. All right, this is a very interesting setup. It looks like she's making a, a, a very beautiful sculpture here. I'm very impressed by the look of this man. He has a nose fit for Roman. I love it. Excellent. Well done. All right, so it's a pleasure to meet you.